hi what's up in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a school round logo in corridor 2020 without further ado let's step into it so right now we are going to type the name of the school uh, select your uh what's it called uh <coughs> test two then you type the name of the school you can decide to type anything about uh as <coughs> this is what we are going to type Don King Don King College College <coughs> of Education 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 Excellent. Modeling. So right now, this is what we are going to use for the uh, what's it called for the logo. So right now, what we're going to do is to head over to your ellipse tool. Then you hold on Control key. Then you to draw a perfect circle just like so so right now the next step is to sh hold shift key on the keyboard then you drag inward just like so good so then you make a copy <coughs> again then you get your destination you right click then another one then you right click so right now what we are going to do is to uh, change the thickness of the outline right here hit F12 for your keyboard a dialog box pops up then you change it to 3 go over again that's too tiny let's make it 9 good so go over and repeat hit control repeat R on your keyboard to repeat it on that so right now the next step is to make a copy of this you know R uh, you drag it upward just like so hold shift on your keyboard then you drag upward a little bit then you uh, get your destination you right click to copy paste so right now let's change our fonts hold control and keyboard then you hit k and keyboard to break that test apart then you go over uh, to change the fonts so you can decide to change your font to any type so right now i'm using this for the project so folding that then let's make this break this line right here downward good so let's make it bigger hit ctrl k to break that this part then you hold shift and keyboard to select this you know layer this round here so we are you know cuffing this you know against that uh, circle so we'll go over uh, to what's it called test then you locate fit test to parts so automatically it fits in so right now what we are going to do i think it's too uh that font is too big let's reduce that a bit so let's go over again select uh, the object then we'll go over to test you know get fit to parts automatically it fits in then you go over to your object locate you know break this part so that's that so select the, the education again then you hold shift on your keyboard select the rounded object then you go over to this you know fit to parts automatically it fits in then you drag from here drag it around you know when you get to your destination you release your mouse so in this case right now we're gonna get go to the uh so features so of this you know r2 can you see so what you're gonna do is to just you know click right here automatically it goes up then you go over to the mirror desk horizontally good 
so right now we're going to do is to uh, pull it down a bit then adjust that good so let's go to object break test apart automatically it breaks then you click outside select the round then you delete that good can you see that so what we are going to do next is to change this color right here so we are changing the color let's make that you know black then we'll go over to change the inner to white then we we'll change the is to white control hit on control hold control your keyboard then you hit speed down so let's select this the outline should be black right click on black no matter how it change then the test so the test that you have on this so let's select the test change to white then you hold control and keyboard to then you tap on page up automatically snap top <laughs> so likewise that too snap top then you change it to white good so right now what I'm going to do is to create you know star you know for the demarcation of that so hold control key down then you draw this uh, polygon uh, you know two objects then you go over to uh, shape it on shape two then you adjust that inward just like so that makes a star change to white then you bring it in right here good so you are going to copy that to the other side right click when you get your destination good so the next step right now is to draw a crown right here so what we're going to do is to go over to each uh, rectangular to draw a flat you know uh, object right there then you go over to make a copy of that just like that so let's uh, <coughs> pull it up a bit right click convert it to curve so so add a node right here add node right here then you add node here then add not here so what we're going to do is to pull this up a bit then you pull this up then you pull this up good so right now we are going to let's slant this a bit just like so good then make a copy of that you know point your mouse to the edge of the object in which you created hold control key hold it down then you slant it to the other side when you get to the station you right click to copy paste select the two work together then you just just like so good so right now what we're going to do is to uh, let's copy this you know star right here pull it put it all up here change it to black then you drag that change it to uh, change it then you copy uh, this star right here right click when you get to the destination you can see that group the whole thing together center it within this circle good so right now the next step is to change this slogan right here so let's uh, change it to a uh, title case then we'll go over uh, to uh, slant that a bit then you good good so here we come to the end of the story i can see the outcome of what we've created so far you know uh you know try and follow uh the steps in which we uh gone through this uh process so that you yourself can uh do the same thing you know thanks for following me and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh you know hit on the notification button so that if anything coming up you'll be uh, you'll be uh, notified 
you know and again give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing right now thanks for following me see you some other time in the next video